Hey guys, Moby here. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make, um, how to play 4x3 stretch resolution on Apex. So you're going to want to, ha before I even start this, just to make fully sure, you're going you're going to go to your NVIDIA or AMD control panel. Now I'd recommend looking up a tutorial on how to um, make it so that your resolution stretches. So like look up how to play stretch res on AMD and you should just follow the way and come back to this tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. But you're going to want to go to adjust display desktop scaling on NVIDIA and go to full screen. I'm using display scaling because I get less input lag. There are some people have problems with display scaling. So if you're having like weird stutters and stuff like that, switch to GPU. But most people display works pretty well, but you might have some edge cases where it won't work super well. So if not, just switch to GPU. So once you do that, you click this, it'll say your desktop ch configuration has been changed. Would you like to keep these settings? And I'll click yes, because that's what you're supposed to do. And you should now be able to stretch your resolution to 1440 by 1080. So now that we have that set up, you're going to, I have a link in the description set for a program called CRU. It's called Custom Resolution Utility. And you're going to click the download link. Now I already have it downloaded, but if you don't, just like um, go to your archiver, go to this, and you're going to want to um, go to desktop and um, extract it to there. And you should be there. So once you're in your folder for the CRU program, you're gonna open it up and click yes to this. And you're going to want to click add and you're gonna add a new resolution. And you're gonna, I'd recommend setting the timing to automatic PC so it automatically sets presets. And you're gonna set it to 1440 by 1080 and you're gonna set the refresh rate to whatever your actual refresh rate is. I'm on 144 Hertz, but just set it to whatever you have and click okay and press okay and you should have it. So once you have that set up, you're gonna to wanna to go to your file explorer, go to C, users, whatever your user is, and then go scroll down to where it says saved games. You're gonna to go to respawn, which is where the respawn games are saved, apex and local and video config.cfg. So before you even get this started, make sure that read only is off so that you can ch make changes to the file. So you're gonna make sure, change this to 1440 or whatever resolution you wanna play on, say, I don't know, 1350. Just make sure whatever resolution we set is there and and then you're gonna set that to that and you're gonna keep this enabled and then set no window border off to one. So you close that out, click read only and apply and okay and you should be able to go to now you can go to steam or origin however you want to do it for steam i have a way to set the launch options and that's by going to this and i have this launch option in the link in the description just paste plus binding cube maps the end of your launch options and then you can finally launch your game and now the last thing on however for origin Users, I don't use Origin at all, but I, but I'm gonna show you how to. You wanna scroll down the Origin, and um, I don't have it open right now. But the way you can do it, I don't know if I have anything downloaded, but you're gonna wanna go to your library if you're playing on Origin. Uh, game properties, and there should be a thing that says Advanced something and then you can advance launch options or something like that and you can paste it i don't have it because i don't have apex legends downloaded because it takes up too much space but you can do that and it should work so what i was leading up to earlier in this video was that you had to set your display settings to your res now to be able to tab out that is however you can use this method normally without tabbing out but like you but to be able to tab out you're going to want to scroll down to where it says this go to 1440 by 1080 and this is going to be your desktop res unfortunately but you can it, you'll get used to it after a while i mean if you really want to play 1440 by 1080 you can with this and you can play it on pretty much any game with that in that case but just like roblox or anything really but 
to play Apex and be able to tab out on top of any other game, you can you have to do that. So finally, you can open up Apex, and I could. It should be able to load. And there's one last thing you have to do every time you log on, which is you press Alt Enter, and now your uh, res should be that. It's because, this is because of the binding cube maps, which I told you to paste earlier. If you didn't do that, just make sure you do that and click continue. And you should have your, um, you should, it should work. Now, one thing that's noticeable when you pop in the game is that the UIs are screwed up, but that's just because this res isn't really supported. But this is probably the best method out there to really get this to work. And it should work fairly well compared to other methods. And as you can see, like, there's not many micro stutters, not much input lag. I mean, there is a slightly more, there's slightly more, but it's certainly not unplayable and it's usable. So if you want to play 1440 by 1080, you can definitely do it on this, like this. Anyway, I hope that was all I should mention before I even end the video is that shout out to Thought Waffle and Dia FPS for teaching me this method. Without them, there would be no way that I would do this. So really shout out to them. They're the real reason why I even thought of this method. And I combined their methods to make this method that works fairly well. Anyway, see ya. Don't forget to sub.